so you want to control the blender virtual camera by your actual smartphone then you are in the right place go to the edit and click on preferences and i will give a link to the add on now just download it and install it as i showing go to the downloaded file and click on it and then just hit install add on now after you click on it i have installed so it doesn't show up but uh, in your case it will show up now just click on it or enable or disable if the check mark is not marked then just close it now press n key in your keyboard and there will be the add on in the list at the bottom now you can see the service port it is a buggy right now it's kind of buggy right now but it will fix soon just increase or decrease the number and press start if it does not then just change the number like change the service port and start you will see a barcode now start your smartphone and open the app i will give the link in the description now just after starting it just let it scan any surface and make sure that your device support ar crow google ar crow now after scanning it a bit you have to just click on anywhere to set the origin like this is the origin now in the in the scene it will set up on this now just scan it the barcode that the uh, add on is giving it it is buggy just stop it if it does not scan just increase or decrease the service port and start again and if it does not work then you are seeing the ip address you can just select the bottom right blue button and just enter the ip address to connect manually now just connect it manually after after uh, entering the password just press yes and it will connect yeah it will connect and now just hit the refresh button and your scene it will display on your device now what you have to do is just click on the blue camera icon you are seeing on the middle top screen now just you can resize and reposition your scene now just click on this button and after it green you can see your phone is uh, uh, the motion of your phone is shrinking with the virtual camera of blender now just press play button and record your motion you can see the key frames key framings are showing so it just like you move the phone and it will auto keyframe the blender camera now after finishing it just disconnect it and let's go to our pc in blender you can see by clicking the camera you can see there is all keyframe auto keyframe now after this let me check one thing okay so what you can do is like it very shaky now what you can do is select the camera select all the keyframe and press alt shift 0 after selecting all it it will sample the key frame where it is not present like you can see the blue dots they are not present but they are sampled by other key frame now if we play the animation and if you want some smooth animation like uh, we record when we record from phone it will be shaky if you want smooth then just click alt 0 and you can see it will it, it is auto keyframing our motion and it is the same motion we have created in our smartphone just let set up a fast scene and render it out now you can also press alt z alt z, it's not zero i think alt o and it will smooth the animation graph so it will smooth the play and playback animation now let just go to render view and uh, let's set up some materials to render out it let's add sun rotate a bit now let's see green just 
Hier noch was ordentlich. Okay, you can see that this is the scene. You have to keep in the mind that your device has to be supported the Google AR Core. Without the Google AR Core, it can't be run in your device. So make sure your device supported Google AR Core. Also, if you want more videos, then just comment down and suggest new topic. I will make another tutorial on it. Now let's just render it out and you can render very fast with the viewport rendering method. Just go to the view and just hit viewport render animation. Now it will animate, animate, it will render your keyframe animation and just wait. I will come back after rendering finish. So yeah, rendering is finished and I will show you the result now. Let's just play the animation. Yeah, render play animation. Okay, you can see how realistic the camera motion is looking because it's all hand driven. And it's awesome that you can control your virtual. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you will like it and share it on your social media and also with your friend to help them. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.